Hello audience, today's topic is, is raisin good for human health? Raisins are the result of removing the moisture from a grape. The standard raisin typically derived from seedless grape, Vitis vinifera. United States is the top producer, that is approximately 24% of the total global harvest. From the nutritional point of view, raisins are often considered negatively due to their high sugar content. It have a large amount of carbohydrate and large amount of sugar. As a consequence, their inclusion in the diet of children, obese and diabetic subject is debated. Raisin contains a nutrient per 100 gram of raisin contains 79 gram of carbohydrate, 0.5 gram of the total fat, protein 3.1 gram, vitamins including B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B9, choline, vitamin C, vitamin E and vitamin K. Minerals have calcium, iron, magnesium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and zinc. In raisins, flavanols, quercetin, and camphorol are the phenolic compounds. The phenolic acid, cafetaric acid, cautaric acids are present. What is the health benefits of the raisins are? Raisin intake have their effect to reduce the blood pressure. Because of the rich content of the dietary fiber, potassium, and phytonutrients, the regular consumption of raisin has the potential to lower the blood pressure. Raisin intake reduces body weight, reduces obesity. The fiber content of raisin may contribute to the satiation and decrease appetite. Raisin intake reduces the cardiovascular risk. Raisin intake is accompanied by reduction in serum loop density lipoprotein, cholesterol, triglycerides, and oxidized low density cholesterol values. Raisin intake overcomes the anemia, the AR anemic conditions. Raisin may play a part in preventing anemia by by maintaining the iron, copper and vitamins that are the essential for making red blood cells and carrying oxygen throughout the body. Raisin intake reduces the cancer risk also because it have a good amount of the antioxidant. Dietary antioxidants are essential as they may protect the body from the oxidative damage and free radicals. The free radicals and oxidative damage are the major cause of the cancer. In various cancer cases, oxidative damage occur. Oxidative damage and free radical are risk factor in many type of cancer. If you like this video, subscribe us, like us, and support us.